definitely the most awaited video is here. You guys wanted me to review my Nespresso machine, but I thought I'll actually review three of the most expensive appliances I bought for my kitchen, on which I actually spent two thousand Canadian dollars. Yes, I'm not even kidding. But let's find out: is it really worth it? So out of all these three, the most expensive is this Vitamix blender. So this is priced at eight hundred dollars. And the next thing after this is my Nespresso machine, which you guys know I love it. And this is priced at seven hundred dollars. And the last one is this Meg toaster, and you won't believe how much I spent on a toaster. This is priced at two forty dollars. Okay, let's find out why did I spend so much money on this and if it's really worth it. So the first thing is this retro style toaster by Smeg, and just when I saw this, I absolutely fell in love with it. It's so so cute. I mean, look at this. Isn't this toaster really pretty? This comes in a variety of pastel colors, and mine is mint green. And to be very honest. The main reason why I bought this toaster is just because it is so aesthetically pleasing and it looks so good on the counter. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. But functionality wise, it's very simple. It's like a traditional toaster. It has six browning option settings from light to dark and also a defrost button which you can use to defrost the frozen bread or something and also the bagel button which you can use to toast the bagels it is a two slice toaster with extra wide slots which is perfect to toast anything and at the back of it there's also a door where you can find the crumbs tray and look at this this is so easy to clean as well just take the tray out throw your crumbs and just put it back effortless cleaning i love the smell of bread now let's toast it so i usually brown on two and a half settings and that gives me the perfect toasted bread mm this is the toast i like and now you'll ask me if you should get it So my take on this Meg toaster is that if aesthetics is very important to you, if you want to make your countertop look really beautiful and nice, definitely in you can get it. But to be very honest, there is no special feature. I mean, this is not something extraordinary. It's just a traditional toaster that browns the bread. That's it. But for me, aesthetics is important. So. I definitely love my Smeg toaster. And if this retro looking toaster is your vibe, you can get it. But otherwise, you can definitely pass on this. And now to the most expensive thing in my kitchen, my blender, $900. You must be thinking why in the world I would spend $900 for a blender, but let me tell you, this is literally the Ferrari of all the blenders. This is such a strong blender that I have no regrets. at all after buying this there is no buyer's remorse at all i'll tell you a story whenever i've made smoothie in the past it's never so smooth and creamy if i add season my smoothie i can still see them or if i add greens i can still see some particles there this time i was like okay i don't want a blender that i have to dispose of after every few months i need something super strong and this one is a very 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 strong blender i'm not even kidding when i started you'll actually see it is so loud because the motor is really really strong and yeah it's crazy to see what all it can make you can not only make smoothies out of this you can actually make soups you can make a sorbet you can bake nut butters so it comes with a book and you can actually get so many recipes as well you can make smoothies beverages sauces dips breads soups salad dressings batter doughs whole grain flours baby food and desserts this is one thing that can literally make everything i know also it comes with a lifetime warranty so i don't really have to worry about anything so this blender came with the 60 ounce container along with this tamper and i was wondering why would anybody use this what is this used for and i know you are thinking the same whenever you are making something and it gets collected on the side all you have to do is just 
use this tamper to push things in so that it helps to blend easily so now let's not waste time and let me make a smoothie because i'm also very hungry and show you how this works so i make a lot of smoothies that's why i wanted to invest in a good blender even if you put anything in this i put so many greens all the frozen fruit frozen bananas even pomegranate seeds how can i forget flax seeds chia seeds you will see how it all blends in this super powerful blender so there are preset settings that you can use for smoothies ice cream soup spreads and you can increase and decrease the speed as well let's hit play have to see the consistency of the smoothie mm. love how it blends all the ingredients together that's why i make a lot of smoothies and you can also set the timer as well so if you want to blend it for like 30 seconds just choose that option and then you can leave the blender to do all its work by its own and guys you remember the old school blenders that we used to have where we used to hold the containers this is not the case anymore you can just leave it you don't have to disturb your vitamix let it do its job now let me show you my favorite part of this blender and you will be amazed looking at it because before purchasing when i was doing my research and when i found out about that feature i was like really a blender can do this so this has this self cleaning button here and yes the blender can clean itself i don't really have to clean the blender and i'll show you how so i have just added water and a little dish washing liquid and i'm going to turn on the cleaning mode and wait for the magic to happen <laughs> Whoa! Wasn't that fun to look at? At least I have not seen any blender that cleans itself. All you have to do now is just rinse it. And now the question is, should you buy the Vitamix? I would 100% recommend it. I know it's super expensive, but guys, this is one blender that is so multi-purpose. You can actually do a lot with this. And like I said, you can literally make so many things out of this blender. you will be amazed what the vitamix blender can do but if you only just want to make smoothies then maybe i mean you can still buy it i know it's very expensive just for that but if you are planning to purchase it then i would highly recommend to really make good use of it by trying other things and i'll actually make a video about it where i'll actually make nut butters soups or maybe even ice cream in this do you want to see that let me know in the comment section below and you're paying for quality like this is super high quality top of the line blender so i'm going to highly 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 recommend this blender get it you won't regret it and also i'll put all the links in the description box below of all these three appliances and also my coffee mugs and smoothie glasses which you ask me so many times where i got it from so you can check out the link and now my nespresso machine the most awaited review ever so this machine that i have is the nespresso latissima pro by delonghi and guys you know i love coffee i'm obsessed with coffee coffee is the first thing that i need every morning to wake up otherwise i cannot function you guys know it i love coffee i think i've said that enough and it comes with a built in milk frother can you imagine yeah this is the thing that sold me on this particular model by the way but before i show you the functionalities let me tell you why i actually bought this machine so before getting this machine i was actually beating the coffee by my hand it used to take so much time in the morning it literally ruined that coffee experience and when there was no pandemic and when i was going to the office i used to go grab my coffee from tim hortons or mcdonald's but then since the work from home started i actually realized i need to step up my coffee game and that's the reason i bought this and oh my god since the day i've bought this machine i cannot tell you it's such a good experience in the morning the coffee is so quick and easy to make i completely completely love my nespresso oh and i've had this coffee machine for over more than 6 months now and i think it's a good time to finally review it 
So I'll tell you about the pros and cons and my final take if you should buy this. And it comes with a drip tray which collects empty pods as well as some extra water or milk that drips from the nozzle. And at the back of it, it has this water container. And on the side, it has this hot water spout that you can use to dispense hot water. First thing that I really love is how easy it is to make coffee in this machine. I'll show you how I make it. All you have to do is just switch it on and it takes about like 15 to 20 seconds to heat up the machine. Insert the pod. In this frother, you can choose how much froth do you want. And I've usually gone high froth setting. So let's start making the cappuccino because that's what I enjoy the most. And the perfect coffee is ready. The espresso smells amazing too. Mmm, look how frothy the milk is. It's the best at-home coffees that you can make. The Nespresso pods are delicious. It's nothing less than having coffee from outside. Trust me on this. So talking about the pros, well, first it's so easy to make and also it's very easy to manage this machine as well. It's so compact in size and that's what I was actually scared for. I really don't have a lot of space on my counter. It really fits well in this small kitchen as well. And also you can make so many different types of coffees. You can make espresso, cappuccino, latte and I usually make cappuccino. That's what I love. And also you can choose the size as well. So they have ristretto, espresso and then longo. And also the best thing is that you can customize your settings as well. Like how much milk do you need in your cappuccino and all of that. If you just need to have warm milk, you can just use this machine for that too. And you can use hot water for your teas as well. But okay, let me also talk about the cons as well because there are some. So the first thing is the portion size of the coffee. Personally, I like my coffee, like I need coffee till here because I only stick to one cup of coffee and I need a full mug to myself in the morning. So that's one thing I feel could have changed, but that's okay if maybe some days you can just add two pods. That's what I do. And also another con is that you can only use Nespresso pods in this. I know there are also, I think, Starbucks by Nespresso pods as well. I haven't used it, uh, but let me know in the comment section below, guys, if you have Nespresso and if you've used any other brand for pods apart from Nespresso. Although I love the Nespresso pods, no complaints, but then just to experiment a little, maybe I would love to know that. And also, I like my coffee piping hot. So that's also one thing. I feel if I don't use double vault mugs, I don't really like this coffee because it's not that. It is hot, but it's not like piping hot. So definitely, if you like piping hot, get the double vault glasses and I'll put the link in the description box below. And also, it's better than drinking out because if you go to Starbucks, Tim Hortons, whatever, this is definitely cheaper than that, for sure. And just when you're done making your coffee, all you have to do is set this on the cleaning mode and it will drip out all the excess milk from the nozzle. Place milk jug in the fridge and then you can take it out the next morning. And to maintain this machine, you have to descale it as well. And descaling is actually a process of removing all the mineral buildup from the water. So to remove that, there's a descaling kit that you have to purchase from Nespresso. So it again depends on you, how many coffees you make. So since we make a lot of cappuccino, we have to descale it every once in two months. If you make more of milk-based coffees, then you will have to descale it more often. But the process of descaling is so easy. All you have to do is just put the descaling liquid, put it in this water container. It just empties out all the water and everything. It's like a process that lasts for 25 minutes and it's very, very easy to do. And now the question is, should you buy the Nespresso machine or not? Well, I would 100% recommend it. I cannot live without my Nespresso anymore. I love, love it. 
I have no regrets. This is one of the best purchases I've ever made. And since we all are working from home anyways, I think this is the best purchase that you can make. And if you think this one is a little expensive on your budget, you can definitely get another model which does not have a built-in milk frother. Some people just like to have espresso or you can just buy a separate milk frother. So that would lower the cost as well. And once in a few days, you can also clean this uh, milk frother as well all you have to do is dismantle it and also this is dishwasher safe and it's good to go so now you can make your choice and if i were you and i had to buy just one out of these three like to start with i would first invest in a coffee machine because obviously when you're working from home and if you can have your own proper barista coffee at home that is the best thing ever and then maybe the Vitamix blender and toaster mm, yeah if you really want it then that would be my third pick but also let me know in the comment section guys which one would you pick if you had to buy one out of these three items and if there's any other appliances that you have invested in for your kitchen let me know in the comment section below because I would love to know what did you spend your money on because you have seen mine so I want to know yours too I hope you like the review and you know what you have to do don't forget to like this video and also do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you next time bye I, this is the best purchase i've ever made and i'm so happy about it